Good evening. I'm Mary Love and welcome to Country Living. Today's been a busy day. I have made so far one, three, four, five batches of jelly. And I'm making barbecue chicken for dinner. I didn't get the first part of it on the, in the video. I've got six chicken legs here. I pulled the skin off of them. I seasoned them up with some um, Head and Country seasoning. Now I'm going to use some Great Value barbecue sauce. I absolutely love this. This is really good. So let me get a brush. And then we're going to get these. These have been in the oven for about 45 minutes at 385. So we're going to lather them up with some barbecue sauce and put them back in the oven. Because me, when I'm cooking chicken legs, I want them done. I don't want no red looking stuff down around the bone. So let's get some barbecue sauce on these things and put them back in the oven. like to bake them first for a little while before I put barbecue sauce on them. Alrighty. Lay that right there. Grab some pot holders where I can put this back in the oven. Set this timer. Alrighty. We got that going. Now I'll bring you over here and you can see all this jelly I've been busy making. I've done all this today. And I got one more batch in my water bath canner going over here. You can see it right here. I've got this going. It's got four more jars in it of grape jelly. I've made eight half pint jars of grape jelly. Well, take that back. Ten half pint jars of grape jelly. And three, six, nine, twelve half pint jars of berry blend, which is no sugar added juice that I bought from Walmart. It's strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. And it tastes really good as far as jelly goes. <clears throat> and then later on, probably ain't going to happen tonight, but on my next day of making jelly, I'm going to make some white grape peach. As long as it says no sugar added, I can use that in my jam and jelly maker. So we're going to get this chicken finished and figure out what I'm going to make to go with it. And I'll be back, so don't go anywhere. Now, as you can see, there's that side done. We're going to flip them over. Whoop, that was stuck a little bit. And we're going to barbecue this side up a little bit. And I got some macaroni cooking for some macaroni and cheese. Just a box stuff. I've tried making homemade. My husband and I don't care for it. So I just doctor up the box stuff with some cheese slices. And make it really good and creamy. And we're good with that. All righty. That's got that side done up. So we're going to put these back in the oven for just a little bit longer.
We're going to let this macaroni cook. And I'm going to make some, heat up some mixed vegetables that I can myself. And we're going to call it dinner. So we'll be back. Don't go nowhere. All right. Dinner is done. We got macaroni and cheese, barbecue chicken, and mixed vegetables. Now, don't that look yummy? Let me grab a different camera and I'm going to take a picture of this before I cut into it. Yep, that just looks damn right delicious. All right. Let's give it a try. Excuse the mess. I'm still cleaning up for making jelly. But I'm about to get it all done. Mm-hmm. Man. That'll work. Yes, ma'am. The macaroni and cheese is, like I said, it's just a boxed macaroni and cheese. I'll take about five or six slices of American cheese after the macaroni is done. I'll drain the macaroni and then I'll tear those slices of cheese up, put some butter in with that, put the macaroni back on top of that, put a lid on it, let it melt that cheese down real good, then put the powder that comes with the cheese powder that comes with it. I'll put that in there, a little bit of milk, stir it up. That's how we like macaroni and cheese. Mmm. That's delicious. That'll even be good cold. I love cold fried chicken. But with that, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And I'd like to welcome the newcomers that I had today. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. If you like this video, like I said, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. These are the kind of videos I make. I tell everybody over and over, I am no chef. I am just a simple little cook. But I promise, I ain't killed nobody yet. So I must be doing something right. With that, I will say God bless. Take care. And if you subscribe, remember, hit that bell notification so that each and every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified of it. Because I don't want you to miss out on anything. I wound up with 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22 half pint jars of jelly today. I've been very busy. But with that, I will say good night. God bless, and until we meet again, welcome to Mary Love Country Living.